so I've got my center line drawn on there. I'm not going to worry about my braces yet, because first I want to glue my center reinforcement stripping. So now uh, my end block and my toe block will end up looking something like this. I'll probably machine them a little smaller. These are walnut ones, I'll save them for something else. This is going to be after the line of this guitar. And so if I figure this is the, uh, the outside of my guitar, that'll be sitting somewhere in like that. I really don't need to have more than that over there. If this is my butt block or end block. Same deal. That's, that's how much I, I really need to have. So, what I'll do is see how I've got this longer one. I wonder, maybe I can get away. No, I can't get away with just one. Close, but not quite. So what I'll do is I'll make it just an eighth of an inch longer than it needs to be. And you don't have to cut it, just break it off. And you can save any scraps you have for that uh, next guitar. So I'll just usually toss them down here somewhere. And so then for the gluing method, I, uh, I like to glue it on the dish. Anything I'm gluing on the back, I'll glue on the dish because it'll help it maintain that radius overall uh, feel. So uh, I'll walk over to my bench here and I'll raise this a little bit. I can probably, probably let your, your base stay there, it won't get damaged. And I want to have it directly beneath my ghost stick gluing shelf. I've got the long and the short ghost sticks. And so I'll start off by uh, taking a, a nice straight ghost stick. Now I'll use a, I'll use a ruler. The, uh, the aluminum Johnson rulers are my favorite, but I've just got this one here. So I'll just put this guy right beside. And it, it's going to end up being my fence that I will be gluing my center reinforcement strip against. So I'll put a ghost stick there, put a ghost stick there, and what the heck, I'll put one more over here. So now I know my ruler's not going to go anywhere, and I'll press this against there, and it looks pretty nice. I like it. So the next thing I'll do is grab my tight bond. We'll be using tight bond for pretty much every other task at this point. And then I'll put a little bead of tight bond on here. There's a chunk, I don't want that. Just put it on the bench. That's why you want to have nice benches. If you have nice benches, you never want to get glue on them. Then you're always being really protective of your benches. See, there's a bit of glue residue there that sort of squeezed out. That'll be alright. I'll scrape it off pretty soon. But then I'll take a ghost stick right here. I'll put this on top. So now I'm not pressing into the spruce. I'm putting the pressure down and it's helping to transfer and dissipate the pressure. That way you don't put any dimples in that. Yeah, because you don't have dimples, it looks kind of ugly. Or it looks like yeah, you're not as pro as you should be, or could be, or want to be, or were once, or will be. And looking at it again, everything looks good, it hasn't, it hasn't moved. Um, I did screw up, and then I didn't put this guy down there too, so a little bit of glue on that. Let's see if I can slide it under. It's kind of crude, but no one will see that, but we'll know about it. So, before I let that just sit there and dry, it's important 
that I clean that up. So uh, there's different ways, you know. Some guys will put water. Some guys will. Uh, I, I thank you. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a scraper though instead, because uh, I just like having the control of the scraper. Ow. Still wet. Where did you uh, where do you get your scrapers? Uh, Lee Valley. Okay. Yeah, they sell them. Uh, they're pretty reasonable. I think the same price as Stumac, except they're in Canadian dollars, so they're like 25, 30 percent less. So this side's all sudden very clean. That's great. I'll let it sit for say like two or three more minutes, and then I'll pull that ruler off, and then I'll scrape the other side. In order to scrape the other side, what I'll have to do is rotate these go sticks so they're not facing that way because the scraper will be tall enough and square enough that it'll, it'll end up uh, knocking. So we'll go like this. It's tacked up though, it's not going to go anywhere. If it does, I'd be very surprised. If a ghost stick breaks, you get a couple points. If it breaks and you bleed, you get eight points. You don't want that though, not worth the points. If it breaks in your face, it's a surprise. Yeah, it's pretty much the center reinforcement strip is done. The next thing that we're going to do after that is uh, we'll uh, measure out our braces, exactly where they go, we'll notch it out, and we'll glue and clamp these guys in place. And so those will be go sticks too? We'll be using the go sticks as well, yeah. Approximately uh, four to 